Shook and I'm here once again, once again, on me. And uh, today's another new comic book day, eh? So today I'm gonna take you to my local comic book shop, eh? And uh, show you around, eh, of new comic books that were released today or whatever, eh? So uh, yeah, man, let's go inside the, the shop, eh? And pick up my pool list and uh, look around.
So yeah, man, I just made it back to my patty, and hopefully you guys enjoyed that little um uh, clip on me of me uh, browsing through my local comic book shop, eh? And uh, before I continue, eh, I want to give a quick little shout out eh, to Wild West Comics, eh? Because their shop on me is always organized, way eh? they have like two walls dedicated to all the new comic books that came out for a uh, new comic book day. Because eh? I've been to comic book shops, eh, where they're pretty much like mixing like the new ones from this week and then the old ones from last week, eh? And you're like going through them, like oh man, like which ones are the ones that released today? And uh, Wild West comics hey you never have like an issue with that hey they, they have that little you seen that little tabs they have behind the books like new this week and then some they have like some other tabs that say like new last week or whatever hey so yeah man i, I really love a wild west comics hey but uh yeah man enough of that hey uh let me show you guys what i picked up today hey so the first comic book i picked up was uh this future state it's a dark detective which ah look at this beautiful cover homie it's actually a cover by uh, what was his name uh del toro which, man, that was a, uh, a great artist, man. I love it. Which, so far, eh? I'm loving this Dark Detective, eh? And I'm actually kind of disappointed, eh? Because we're in this issue, there's actually two stories, eh? There's one about uh, Jason Todd in here. Which, at one moment, I had, like, the little theory that one of the Peacekeepers was going to be, um... Jason Todd, eh? Because in Robin Internal, they actually uh, explained to you that freaking Jason uh, Todd betrayed the Bat Family way. So I was like, man, he probably, you know, became one of the Peacekeeper, eh? Because one of the Peacekeepers actually have like kind of like the Red Hood type helmet or whatever. But I guess he's not, eh? But uh, yeah, man, there's a uh, Dark Detective uh, issue number two, man. I love it. I actually love this uh, story more than the next Batman, eh? That has to do with uh, Tim Fox or whatever, which I don't know. That story's like starting off a little bit too slow, way. Eh? I don't know. I might end up dropping it eh? but who knows way but yeah man this uh dark detective issue number two i love it man so far and then the next book i picked up with this uh future state suicide squad issue number one which once again man look at this beautiful cover right here man see focus focus there you go look at that beauty looking solid eh? shout out to the cover artist on me let's see who did the cover for this one was by uh Derek Shuey. So uh shout out to you, Derek Way. You got down on this uh Raven cover, eh? So uh this uh Future State Suicide Squad 1 eh? I haven't really read it, but I just I read like a little preview to it, which pretty much uh I, I want Amanda Waller, this is her new Suicide Squad, pretty much like the evil version of the Justice League. Which uh, I'm gonna end up reading it tonight, way. Hopefully it's good. But yeah, beautiful cover. And then I picked up this uh Future State Batman and Superman issue number one. Which, this story is fun, way. I always love when Batman and Superman click up with each other, man. It's, it's always fun. A little fun ride, eh? Batman say great, way. And Superman, that was always just mellow and chill, way. Humble, way. Even though that was like the strongest man on Earth. Well, pretty much he is the strongest man on Earth, eh? Unless you count Batman, way. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, man. Nice little cover. Oh, let me see. Focus, focus. And this story takes place uh, right before the Manistrate fully takes over Gotham, eh? They're like really on the like um, uh, beginning steps or whatever. With this uh, future state, Aquaman issue number one, which is the variant cover. You see Aquaman's uh, daughter there. Nice little cover. Which I haven't read, eh? But I'll read it tonight. And if I like it, I'll pick up the next one, eh? But if not... I will drop it, eh? Because I was actually this close to dropping the next Batman way. That Tim Fox story is not doing it for me, eh? But since it's only four issues way, I think I'm just going to end up picking up issue three and four. And let's see where it goes or whatever. But, uh, I don't know, man. That next Batman story is kind of kind of weak, way. And then now getting to some Boom Studio goodness, way. I picked up uh, Something's Killing the Children, issue number 14, way. Shout out to James Tinian, way. That fool. <laughs> That was one of the my, one of my favorite artists. I mean, artists. One of my favorite writers on me right now. Way that was killing it. Way and he actually drops two books. Way every two weeks is it every. Yeah, I think it's every two weeks. Way he drops uh, something's killing the children and then he drops the Department of Truth. Way which both of them are great, man. You guys haven't jumped on this uh, something's killing the children trip, eh? I say you jump on it. Way it's a great, great read. The next book, eh, continuing with uh, some Boom Studio goodness, eh, I picked up this uh, We Only Find Them When They're Dead, issue number five, which another book, eh, that I I'm feeling right now, eh. I don't know, man, Boom Studios and uh, Image Comics, wait, they've been killing it, lady. And, uh, yeah, man, this issue's great, eh, they give you a quick little, um, like, backstory of Captain Malik, way, what he did, eh, when he was younger. He he's cut her away, ah. Uh, 
a fool, you know, he killed his carnal, way. But uh, in this issue, another person dies, eh? But I don't want to give you any spoilers, eh? In case you guys are reading this book or whatever, you guys haven't read it, eh? Or you guys want to read it. But uh, yeah, man, I recommend you guys picking picking up this. Uh, we only find them when they're dead, way. Great, great book. And then now moving on to some uh, image comics. I picked up this uh, Department of Truth once again, eh? Ha, James Tim, you know me? Doing a great job, way. And shout out to the artist, way. This art and the story go great, homie. He's like Snyder and Caputo. It, it, I don't know, man. You know, there, there's always like that artist and then that writer, homie, that when you put them together, way, they make a uh, freaking like, let me see. What, uh, what do I really like, way? They make like some fire ass pumpkin pie, way. But uh, yeah, man, let me show you guys the art. I know I say this a lot, eh? But this book is about conspiracies, eh? And then this book, ha, just brought the freaking, uh, the freaking reptiles to life, way they, they are true. They freaking look at them, <laughs> the freaking lizard people, way they exist, way they live in the freaking sewers. But uh, yeah, man, another book you guys should be reading, and this is actually issue five, a. Eh? But uh, yeah, man, I recommend uh, picking up this book. I picked up was this uh, Wolverine issue number nine. Which I don't even know why this book was in my pool list, eh? Uh, I thought I told them to cancel it, eh? Or probably I did forget to tell them. But yeah, man, issue number nine, which I haven't even read. I haven't read a Wolverine book since, well, during this arc or whatever, story or whatever, was like an issue four, way. Eh? But uh, yeah, man, that's pretty much uh, all the books I picked up today. It was pretty much like a light week. I picked up, what was it, like seven books? And uh, they actually released a couple more Future State books, which I actually skipped, like the Legion of Doom, they drew, uh, like a Lex Luthor one. And what else they released today? Um, I'm missing one. I think like a Superman one. But uh, yeah, man, I didn't pick those up. I, they didn't really catch my attention or whatever. And they also released a couple tie-ins, like King and Black tie-ins, which I'm not reading none of the King and Black tie-ins. I'm just reading the straight, like the main story, like King and Black and uh, the Venom one, pretty much, eh? But uh, yeah, man, that was my little uh, comic book haul I did today for New Comic Book Day. And if you guys enjoyed this quick little um, video, homie, and you're new to the channel, way, and you're into pops and uh, comic books, hey, then you're in the right spot, way, and a uh, streak 89er out play yeah